Stardust Blessings. I first wanted to say thank you because you folks who run it, owners, proprietors that help with the owners running it, um, sales staff, managers, whoever you are. Mark, for example, the gentleman who was there to help myself and Kim yesterday when we were there. I love you guys. You guys are amazing. And by the way, they have a TikTok channel. So before we begin, let me just start with a little bit of um, intro. I'm Barb. And if you are brand new to my channel, I want to thank you. If you are not brand new to my channel, thank you for coming back. My channel name is B Rex the PR Goddess One. I am the Glamazon, and this is the Glamazonian Hot Mess Beauty Horde. And really, that could probably apply to the entire effing house at this point. So, oh, I think what's happened to the light back there? Did I blow out a light bulb? Because that was definitely on earlier, and I'd have not gotten up. Anyway, today I'm going to talk to you about the beautiful place that my friend KC Kim. My spirit daughter introduced me to. It's called Stardust Blessings. It's on the Post Road in West Haven, 145 Boston Post Road, West Haven, to be precise. And they have a website, Stardust Blessings Metaphysical.com, and a phone number, 203 932 1441. So I'm going to start off with that if you purchase a big enough amount, you get this cute little reusable earth friendly tote bag. So let's just start there. Second thing I'm going to start off with is. They gave myself and Kim this beautiful, branded, long sleeve two-sided t-shirt and purple. It smells like incense, just like the whole place. I mean, it's not like reeking like pot smoker type incense, thinking like patchouli from the 1970s, but it has enough of a fragrance and an aroma. So they do sell their own branded items and they sell other items. So this is the shirt. I love the wolf and the raven. And it even has things, it says, I think stardust down one arm and blessings down the other. So if the weather holds like this, where it's May and pretending that it's March, I could probably still wear this for a while. However, if the weather decides to suddenly go from March to August weather, which is, you know, it does happen here in the Northeast. Uh, welcome to New England. If you don't like the weather, hang on a bit. It'll change again, you know, then definitely by all means, it'll have to wait till next year. But I just happen to love that, you know, I was very honest. This is my first time at this store. I'm here because Kim told me about it and she wanted to show me it and we came. So, you know, first they asked her for a t-shirt size and they handed her one. And then he asked me my size and he handed me one. So thank you, Mark. I do appreciate you. What I like about their shop is they have a little bit of everything. They have a whole section when you walk in. That's all tarot and oracle decks. So you can find what you want. Then you go and they have tables and tables of different dishes and trays filled with different stones, tumbled stones, shaped stones, points. They have a whole area of these, like, you know, I'm sorry, my husband's, he's a scientist and his father's a scientist. So they're kind of like, eh, I don't really know. The only thing that really shields radiation is lead. Uh, but this Oregonium stuff, and they have it in all different pendants and coasters, and it's supposed to help protect you from different pieces, from, from microwave radiation, all kinds of radiation in your everyday life, like from your cell phone and your computer and, and your Wi-Fi stuff and whatever. But they do have a section on that. They have like a hot massage Reiki area that looks amazing, like the door was open to it yesterday, and it hadn't been the two times that Kim was there before. So it looked like a beautiful, relaxing place. But, you know, they have lots of cool stuff. And I'm going to show you what I got. But, you know, if you do spend enough like I did, you get a bag like this, which is nice because it has a little gusset at the bottom. So even though it looks very flat, it's actually quite useful. I'm just going to put the bag to the side. So let me start with this. They had a bunch of different types of incense they come in these little small boxes. I think these were like $2 a box. Some of them were more your standard, you know, your vanilla, your jasmine. But then they had some scents that I don't often find in stick incense. I only find in, like, resin. So I got the copal. I got the white sage. Because, again, you can't always burn an actual sage bundle. Sometimes this will have to do. And I got some sandalwood. They also had something I'd never seen before from a different brand. They're still hem brand, sorry. So the long skinny hem brands were $2 and these were 3 they have mugwort. I've never seen mugwort incense, and I have been practicing since the late 90s. Just saying. You find it loose, and you sprinkle it on your burning charcoal in your sensor, but I've never seen it loose. Then, I had just bought myself, probably in January, one of the really mini cast iron cauldrons, and it came with a bunch of these, which are these little, like, 
they're called smudge cups. So you have to burn these outside or in a very well ventilated area because I kind of thought I had opened the window or forgot. My husband went and opened it so we didn't kill ourselves from carbon monoxide. But these are little cups made out of the charcoal that you would use to burn in a sensor. And they come preloaded with some resin or some herbs and stuff. So they gave me one that was like a generic seven chakra one. And I hadn't really seen this brand before. You know, it's nice. I used one of them, but I didn't really need it. But now they had individual ones. Now, these were a little pricey. They're $12 a piece. And mind you, I got that Severn Chakra box along with the little mini cauldron for like 19 But this is to refill it. This is the only box of Palo Santo that they had. And I am a Palo Santo addict. I love it. I also love sandalwood. And I love frankincense and myrrh. But, you know, you give me some Palo Santo and I'm all up in it. So that was the incense I bought. And that can go when I have my little CD player filled with my um, neo-pagan relaxation type stuff. So there we go. So you saw the shirt, you saw the free bag, and you saw my little incense. So really, I'm not spending that much just yet, right? Well, yes and no. They had beautiful jewelry that I was actually guessing the stones on. Because <laughs> yes, I am that good. And I would have bought both the green onyx ring and the appetite ring, but I also know that I am not made of money and there are other trips, so we can do that then. So here's the thing. They had told Kim if you spent $60, you got to spin the wheel. And he was saying, no, it's only 50. So I think I spent like 54. And I was like, oh, damn, I should find something else to hit the 60 and spin the wheel. And he was like, no, you don't spin the wheel for 60. You, you can do it for 50. I said, oh. So the thing is they have this like wheel of fortune wheel with different little things like Palo Santo, um, charcoal, uh, free stone, all listed on it, on the wheel in the different slots. And it's on the wall above where they check you out. So if you spin it, whatever it lands on, you win. So I won one of those coasters and this is what they are. So you can use it like as a coaster, a charger, and it has that supposed orgonium in the base that's supposed to help you protect you from all kinds of crazy rays and beams and whatever's. I don't know, it just looks like random metal shavings to me. I could care less about that. What I like is it's a glass or a very heavyweight, I think it's glass, coaster. But inside they have all these different beautiful designs. So this one was really basically made for me. I had Kim going through them and looking. And she was like, yeah, this one. First up, it's all my blues and greens, but it's also my oranges and yellows. Second of all, it's the beautiful Celtic knot work moon. So other than the Celtic knot work, because they had a lot of them with that, this is the only one that had an actual Tyrannosaur in there. So that's the B-Rex right there. So how cool is that? So this guy I got free and he runs 25. So you figure their long sleeve shirts run 20, 25. That runs 25. So that's 50. I got the bag free. What else is left? Well, they have little altar pentacles kind of thing, like the Patents. But this one is the Triple Moon Goddess. I already have a couple that have the actual pentacle on it, but the Triple Moon Goddess was new. It's carved soapstone from what I can tell. And she was only four bucks. Then I went and I made sure to make, get stones that were a little bit less common in the other shops I frequent because I like to share the business with all the local mom pops because I don't have that much money, but I want everybody to be around when I need them. So right here, this is a sardonyx, which is also known as red onyx. And I got this one that had the very distinct spot because it kept looking at me and speaking to me. And also so I could tell the difference, he was three bucks, between him and this chunk of sunstone I got, who was also $3. And it's also peachy colors. He kind of reminds me instead of like um, a golden marble, like if he has like gold in him or whatever. But he was $3 as well. I have some, a few, very few, flat teardrop top drilled across beads that are made of sunstone, which is very hard to find. And uh, I made a pair of earrings and a pendant, like a stationary pendant necklace. And I love them. So, yeah. Next. Okay. If anybody knows me, you know I have certain stones I gravitate to. Labradorite, iolite, appetite. And well, this was a tumbled piece of appetite that was just so friggin' stunning. And he was $7. How did I leave him? I couldn't. So he came home. But then, after that, we found a basket full of points. Polished points that are also appetite and these are supposed to be originally they were like i don't know 12 15 and then mark asked the lady and she was like nope those are 10 so i bought one and they had all different ones and some of them had like a little facet here but they were all thrown in there any which way so because i'm ocd i started standing them all up because reasons so i picked this guy 
He just, his color pattern and his swirls spoke to me the most. There were some that were taller. There were some that were smaller. Some that were fatter and thinner. That guy. Then I found, look at that cat running. The only piece of tumbled amber I've ever seen in a store. I know it's amber because when you hold it, the heat of your hand makes it a tiny bit sticky. You'll know it's fake and plastic if that does not happen. Also, if you heat it in your hand, you should be able to smell amber resin or perfume. What you do? He was $7 because he's not cheap. He is fossilized pine resin from the Carboniferous period or all the way up to the Cretaceous period. Any of those. It just depends on what the deposit is. And then this guy spoke to me. You know, I'm not a pink person, but something about this blue green with these little flecks of hot pink. This is Ruby Fuchsite. He was five bucks, six bucks, but just even his shape, he was tumbled too. Just. I don't even, I took pictures, which is what I recommend if you buy loose stones. Take pictures of what it says in, in the basket, like about the stone. So it gives you the name of which stone is which. And also you can use that as a base. If it tells you enough, you're happy. If it doesn't, and if it tells you like like one time in one place, the basket about the, the Labradorite just told me a story about the uh, Inuit goddess Sedna, which was beautiful. But I also wanted to know some of the actual properties attributed to Labradorite. So I had to continue to look it up. But that's that. This is what I have. This is what my birthday gift to myself was. And, uh, you know, I have to give great thanks. They have such beautiful rarities for such a low price. They also conduct on their site after they close the door at 7. Little live auctions, I think, for things on um, their TikTok channel. I am not a TikTok person. Just like I tried to do Snapchat and it just never worked for me. And I was just like, eh. So I stick with you more old-fashioned social media. You can love me or hate me for it. Guess what? I don't really care. I am an old-school Gen X last cute kid. Your approval is neither required nor desired. But I will take your affection. There you go. So other than that, I'm going to later today after I finish cleaning and making videos, take this grubby outfit that needs a good wash and put it in the wash. And maybe I'll wear this if it's still cold enough. Have a beautiful night, afternoon, day, weekend. Love all my followers. Uh, whether you're brand new and subscribed or subscribed, that's what I meant to say. Whether you're a brand new viewer or a subscribed viewer, new or old, subscribed or not, I just ask you, please hit like, please leave some sort of comment just to let you know, me know that I'm not talking to the wall, that uh, you're actually, you made it to the end. I don't know. Leave me a, a moon emoji. There you go. I know one of the girls who does her videos, she's always like, if you made it to the end of this video in the comment, just leave me a moon emoji. There you go. So we'll do that. I want you to remember to be the kindness that you wish to see in this world, to remember that per Rumi, life is about knowing when to have that balance between holding on and letting go. And uh, you do you, boo. I'm going to go finish cleaning and see what my foster kitty's running around with. Because my old man cat is napping peacefully with his cat daddy, my sweet, wonderful husband. Peace out to everybody. Enjoy this rainy weekend for what it is. Time to recharge. Celebrate your mom. Love everybody. Bye.